hello friends welcome to the channel solution today in this video we will show you the indirect technique of hemoglobin estimation that is specific gravity method which is also known as copper sulfate method for the estimation of hemoglobin this specific gravity method is not a quantitative method means it does not exactly estimate the exact amount of the hemoglobin present in the blood but it is a qualitative method means it is just to estimate the hemoglobin of the donor blood that whether we will take or receive the blood from the donor or not there are different methods available for the quantitative hemoglobin estimation that exactly estimate the hemoglobin content of the individual that is Sahelis method, color scale method, hemoquay method and the videos related to this method already uploaded in our channel you can search and watch this video or the link also provided in the description box this video means a specific gravity method of hemoglobin estimation is also available in Hindi explanation link of the video is given in the description box this copper sulfate method is generally used to determine the hemoglobin content of blood of the donor and compare it with the fixed amount of the hemoglobin that is the 12.5 gram per deciliter the principle of this experiment is very simple means when a drop of blood is allowed to fall in the copper sulfur solution of a specific gravity 1.053 which is equivalent to hemoglobin of 12.5 gram per deciliter and when it is allowed to fall from the height of about 2 to 3 inch above the solution and when this drop of blood sink in the bottom of the solution this shows that the hemoglobin of the donor blood is 12.5 gram or above the 12.5 gram so the donor can donate the blood to the individual and if the drop of blood floats it means the specific gravity of the blood is less than 1.053 it means the hemoglobin content of the blood is less than 12.5 gram the density of the drop is directly proportional to the amount of the hemoglobin in that drop of blood so let's start the experiment in this beaker we have taken 50 ml distilled water and in this beaker we have weighed and transferred 7.9 gram copper sulfate now transfer 50 ml distilled water in the copper sulfate containing beaker first transfer small amount of the water and then mix with the help of glass rod to dissolve the copper sulfate and then again transfer the remaining amount of distilled water into the beaker containing copper sulfate then dissolve the copper sulfate with the help of glass rod to dissolve all the crystals of copper sulfate dissolve until we get the clear solution of copper sulfate now filter this solution of copper sulfate through filter paper with the help of funnel and tripod stand. Filtration is required to remove the undissolved residue or impurities if any. Collect the solution below in the beaker and then after filtration this is the stock solution of copper sulfate which is ready now. And from this stock solution we have to prepare the test solution. Here it is given the preparation method of 1000 ml of stock solution of copper sulfate. For 1000 ml, 159.63 gram of copper sulfate is dissolved in 1000 ml of distilled water. But here we have calculated for the 50 ml copper sulfate solution because we need very small amount for the demonstration purpose. So we, here we have taken 7. 9 gram and then dissolve it into the 50 ml distilled water because here we have calculated for the 50 ml stock solution and from the 1000 ml stock solution we have to prepare the test solution and for the preparation of test solution here it is given we have to mix 522.5 ml of stock solution and 477.5 ml distilled water to get 1000 ml of test solution after preparing 1000 ml of test solution of copper sulfate the specific gravity of copper sulfate will be and which is correspond to the hemoglobin level of 12.5 gram per deciliter of blood so to prepare 50 ml of test solution from this 50 ml stock solution we have calculated here and taken 26.1 ml of stock solution of copper sulfate and added 23.88 ml of distilled water to prepare 50 ml of test solution so now we are preparing test solution as per the calculation here we have measured 26.1 ml of stock solution copper sulfate and then transfer into the clean and dry beaker and after this 
In the same measuring cylinder, measure 23.88 ml of distilled water and then transfer into the copper sulfate solution. Now, the 50 ml of our test solution is ready for the experiment. Now, let's start the experiment. First of all, sterilize your fingertip with the help of ethanol. After sterilization, then with the help of pricker pen, needle inside it, prick your fingertip. Then swipe the first drop of blood with the help of cotton and then, and then allow the second drop of blood to fall into the copper sulfate solution from the height of about 2 to 3 inch ever from the solution. And if this drop of blood sink into the bottom of copper sulfate solution, then the hemoglobin content of the donor blood sample is 12.5 gram or ever 12.5 gram. It means if the blood is denser than the specific gravity of the solution means copper sulfate solution, the drop sinks. And if the density of the blood is less than the specific gravity of the solution, then the drop of the blood float on the solution of copper sulfate. In the slow motion we are showing here to see the process clearly. You can clearly see that how the drop fall inside the beaker containing copper sulfate solution sink and settle at the bottom of the beaker. And this clearly indicate that hemoglobin content of the person is above 12.5 gram. As we have already told you that this is only the qualitative estimation not the quantitative estimation means we cannot determine the exact hemoglobin content or you can say we cannot estimate the exact hemoglobin content of the blood sample. You can clearly see here in the white background that the drop of blood sinks at the bottom of copper surface solution. And you can download the principle and calculation part in the PDF format by clicking the link given in the description box. Thank you very much for watching this video.